One of the most exciting approaches to cancer immunotherapy involves releasing the natural breaks that keep the immune system in check. This approach, called checkpoint blockade, takes advantage of the fact that the immune system already knows how to fight cancer. It just needs a little help. The immune system's main cancer fighters are called T cells. T cells have receptors on their surface that do different things. Some act like a gas pedal on a car, telling the T cell to go. Others act like a brake, telling the cell to stop. Drugs called checkpoint inhibitors release the brakes allowing the immune system to step on the gas and fight the cancer. Many cancers have learned to hijack these same immune breaks to avoid destruction. They make a molecule that engages the breaks. Checkpoint inhibitors block this interaction as well, robbing cancer of an important defense. Several checkpoint inhibitors are currently FDA approved for the treatment of melanoma and lung cancer. The drug Yorvoy blocks a checkpoint called CTLA-4. Two other drugs, Opdivo and Keytruda, block a checkpoint called PD-1. Many cancers respond to checkpoint inhibitors, and the future looks very bright for this important class of immunotherapies. Created by the Cancer Research Institute, the leader in immunotherapy. To learn more about immunotherapy, and about clinical trials, visit our community for patients and caregivers at theanswertocancer.org.